welcome back to my youtube channel for those who don't know me my name is naninga welcome to my channel today we are doing a very interesting makeup look it might be not so interesting but it's very interesting to me which is a daisy makeup look daisy eyeshadow i think that this is what people call mod makeup part of mod makeup but let's not go into those nitty gritties just know they're daisies and i'm going to create them on my face anyway before we even proceed with this video guys make sure you subscribed to this channel make sure you turn on your bell notification so that you're notified anytime a video goes up on my channel and as you guys can see we have already been doing our eyebrows i always fill my eyebrows in and then after filling them in i normally go in with um, an eyebrow gel or an eyebrow mascara or an eyebrow wax if you want to call it that and i normally just apply it on my eyebrows to make sure they stay in place and then i always use the illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn just to apply either around my eyebrows uh, to highlight them and then now what i'm applying on my face is actually hyaluronic uh, it's usually a tongue twister to me hyaluronic acid and I normally apply it all over my face just to make sure that it, you know, the good things are on my skin fast. And then now the Pore Blur and Prime uh, Primer, Face Primer, is what I normally love using nowadays just to make sure that I have a smooth, even base for my makeup. So I'm just applying it in my T zone because it's like a mattifying primer, makes you very, very matte, but it's also very smoothening and i just love this formula i don't know what formula makeup revolution used but i love this formula and considering it was very very affordable i love it okay after the primer we are now going to go oh my after the primer we're now going to go in with our next concealer and we are just going to use that next concealer specifically for as an eyeshadow primer so i'm just going to apply it all over my eyelids and then i'm going to go in with a brush and blend it out blend 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 make sure that it's blended well and that is going to act as our eyeshadow primer to make sure that our eyeshadow is popping and also to make sure that our eyeshadow stays in place so now i'm just going to go in with this green because i feel like daisies grow in fields and fields are green yeah it doesn't take rocket science to understand that that fields are green the green fields basically that's what was my inspiration for this yeah i know you can use any base by the way you can use any base that you love pink green pink purple you know red any base would work for this for as long as it's darker than the daisies and basically i've used like two colors for this look i've used this orange just to blend out into my skin and i've also used the green as the main color so after the thorough blending make sure that you blend it so well that nobody notices this this orange or green separately you know they'll just say a blend of colors and then now i outlined the areas that i wanted the daisies to go daisies are flowers so i just wanted like three flowers and then i ended up changing my mind and doing like a hundred of them but as you can see i drew the petals first so the petals go fast and then afterwards is when we are going to slowly add the center of the flower using an orange color so i'm just dabbing in the center in this segment dab 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 dabbing in the centers using that neon orange color that you're seeing there and then after we have our daisies oh they look so beautiful we are going to clean the area using a cotton bud and then afterwards we're going to do our lower lid of course you have to do your lower lid also so i'm just going to go in with that light green shade for my lower lid and then towards the outer corner of that lower lid i'm just going to go in with that dark brown color because i just feel like dark brown or black has to be in there and then now we're going to go in with a white eyeliner now this white eyeliner i'm just going to apply it on my waterline but only on my lower waterline and then it's time for foundation because i feel like the eyes i've put on some lashes though they're not very big lashes but yeah it's time for foundation i'm using the clinic even better foundation and this is the shade spice which is usually the only foundation i've ever found that actually matches my skin to the t 
like you guys might even think this is a light coverage foundation but it's not it's a full coverage foundation it's just that it's exactly my skin tone and that's why i love it so much now we are going to go in with a beauty blender and blend thoroughly 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 until we are satisfied with the blend and then now we're going to go in with this rimmel uh, concealer this is their kind and free concealer and i'm just going to highlight certain areas on my face um, for example my under eyes to remove any darkness around that area and also to remove any shadows around my mouth and you know that this is a step that requires two things well at least for me it requires a brush and also a beauty blender i have never gotten over just using one tool for this step i don't know how to so i always use a brush and then i go in with a beauty blender afterwards and then i'm going to contour my nose and for contouring i always use a bronzer shade i have never found myself using a contour i don't know why i just prefer to use a bronzer because i feel like the bronzer blends so naturally yeah as you guys can see it doesn't give you harsh lines or anything and then now we're going to use um some blush a little bit of blush and yeah we're just going to apply it on the high points of our face and then after that i'm going to like do my lips and i'm using a dark brown pencil you know that i love the black pencil if you've been on this channel for long you know that i love using a black pencil but as i always say if you're not going to blend don't use a black pencil use a brown one so blend and then i'm going to use this maybelline sensational lipstick this is the shade keep it mellow as i always say absolutely hideous shade on my skin tone but when you blend it in it is so beautiful when you use like the brown liner or a black liner and just blend it just turns out so so beautiful so natural so gorgeous and then now we're just going to apply my black opal setting powder all over my face and this is the final look guys Woo! this is my idea of a mod look yeah not my idea probably I stole the idea from pinterest but still gorgeous i love it make sure you're subscribed guys and thank you so much for watching if you reach this point in the video and i'll see you in my next video bye